Hello everybody and what is going on? Welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video from youtube.com slash sentdex for Bucky and the New Boss. Where we left off, we've got this fire shell. Right now it actually doesn't fire, it just prints fire. We wanna we wanna change that and we want it to actually fire something. So the first things that we need to do is we have a decent XY, that's okay. We also want to know the position of the tank and um, the current turret position. So let's go ahead and scroll down to the game loop. And where we have fire shell, we have the parameter of gun. We're going to add a few more parameters to this function. So we're going to say gun. And then what are the parameters do we need? We want Well, we want main tank X and main tank Y and then current tur position. Um, so we use those for now, and now we're going to come up to our actual fire shell function. Oh, I'm not in the window. There we go. Here it is. And we have basically the uh, starting information that we want. Uh, so we've got X, Y, and then we want to add in uh, tank X, and then we'll just say tank Y, and then tur position for now. So once we have that stuff, now we're ready to actually fire the cannon. So how do we actually fire the cannon? So uh, a tip, you know, a real basic quadratic uh, equation is something like um, y equals x squared. Or you've got, um, there's even more, like you've got ax plus bx squared or something, and then plus something else, right? We're not going to need to do something too crazy like that. And the reason why ax, y equals, you know, x squared works is because x eventually goes into the negatives, whereas rx will not go into the negatives. So there's a few things that we could do. We can subtract half of the display width, and that would kind of impose a pseudo-negativity for x right in the middle. But the problem with that is we'd want to know, well, we'd have to know where the tank x to tank y is in relation to the entire screen, in relation to the power, so we'd have to like shift the center point based on uh, the power of the shot, you know, all this stuff, it would not really, um, it wouldn't be the best. <laughs> and it would probably not work anywhere near as intended. So this sort of thing is definitely complex. Um, and so we want to keep it as simple as possible when we're writing it, but we want it to also look and kind of feel to the user like it's, you know, because we do want to have power of the gun and we do want angle to matter and all of that. And we don't want it to just to arc in the center in, in like a weird way that wasn't expected. So um, so we're going to use a kind of uh, rendition of the quadratic uh, equation. And we'll say, wow, fire. And then, um, you know, we can have an event loop just to have one, um, just in case the user wants to do something and stuff. And we're also going to need to uh, display the update and all that. So we'll just go ahead and say for event in pygame dot event dot get, um, and then we're just going to say if event dot type equals pygame dot all caps quit, then we're going to just run pygame dot all caps quit. Actually, it's not quit. It's uh, just lowercase pygame dot quit, and then quit. And that's our little event loop. Otherwise, let's go ahead and print out, just for debugging purposes, we're going to print uh, starting show 0, and then we'll print out uh, starting show 1. So that we're printing out the x and y coordinates of our starting show. Subsequently, we want to actually draw the show. Um, so pygame.draw.circle. Uh, where do we want to draw that? It's going to be on the game display. What color do we want it? Let's go ahead and make it red. Um, it's a hot shell. And then where are we drawing it? If you recall, with a circle, it's x, y, then radius. So, and, right, x, y, the center point. So the center point of this is just going to be um, starting shell 0 and 1. So I'm just going to copy this. Make sure you copy and paste like the full tuple, right? So copy that. Actually, we already started a tuple, so whatever. Anyway, paste. So now we've got the center of the circle. And then the shell width, um, I'm just going to say 5 for now. Uh, so now we're drawing that circle. 
then uh, what would we do to make the shell actually move? Well, we need to shift the x of the shell over. So we couldn't. We could just do starting shell zero, and then we could say uh, minus equals because to make the shell go left, we're actually subtracting from x. So we could just say minus equals five. Done. And then um, then we can just ask uh, if. Well, actually, let's just go ahead and do a pygame.display.update, and then we'll do clock.tick. And for this one, we'll make this sequence go by at 100 frames a second. Uh, should be basic enough and easy enough to make it go that fast. So let's go ahead and save and run that and see where we stand. So welcome to Tanks. We'll go ahead and hit play. We'll shoot it. Uh oh, got a uh, two ball object. Minus equals five. Let's see. Okay. All right. So uh, we made a slight error here. So when we're pa passing through uh, the um, x and y, this is a this is a tuple, and you can't modify tuples. <laughs> so my mistake there. So what we want to do is we're going to say we're just going to quickly convert this uh, to a bit of a list. Uh, I don't think we can, let's try dot to list. I don't think we'll get away with that, but let's just try that really quick before we do a separate method. And yeah, tuple object has no, and then finally, let me try one more method, list x, y, play. There we go, got away with that one, so that's cool. So let's go ahead and uh, X out of this. So that worked to convert it, and now we are actually shooting a shell. Let's make this five frames a second now so it doesn't go off our screen as fast as it did. So we'll hit play, and then we can shoot. And you can see our shell at least starts at the gun point, right? And, but it's just going in a straight line. So now we have to modify Y, because that'll give it some height and then take away from the height and all of that. Um, so we're going to talk about that. That's going to be a little bit more of a confusing topic. Uh, so we'll talk about that one. Obviously, also the barrier just disappears. We'll talk about that too. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but for now, this will work. Um, we'll just leave this here. Um, so that is though why we have tank X and tank Y. Just saying. Uh, so yeah, I think what we'll do we'll cover that the function for Y in the next video. It's a fairly long function. Uh, that will stand to need some explanation. So, so that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. So stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching.